Welcome to the channel. Thank you to everyone for tuning in. Today we will be reviewing the Merca World Timer available on AliExpress and on the Merca website. It comes in three different colorways. The one in hand is the grey accented 24 hour scale. You get one with a blue accented scale and a maroon accented scale and the option of leather straps or steel beads of rice. Now the watch retails for around £128 but it can go down to around 112 in the sales and I do believe following a quick search on AliExpress and Google this is the cheapest world timer design with a rotating bezel and as I mentioned in the unboxing that this is my first time with a world timer function watch and it's actually pretty easy to use. You have an outer 24 hour scale with an inner 12 hour scale so you set your time as per usual so let's just say the time right now let's set it at 2 p.m and now to work out the time in a different time zone you have to unscrew the crown or if you have a bezel depending on which type of world timer function you have so this one this is internally rotating so now i need to set my home time so if i've set it at 2 p.m i need to find 1400 hours for my time zone which is london and once i've set that now i just follow the scale and that tells me how far ahead or far behind a time zone is so for example i recently went to egypt so if i were to look at cairo it shows me cairo is exactly two hours ahead which that is i know that to be true and so on and so forth now it does not account for daylight savings and i've read that some companies have tried to account for this on some watches now in terms of function the secondary crown does have a really good grip it also has smooth threading and the rotation of the inner bezel is actually very smooth um, you have a very small amount of resistance which is nice to feel it actually feels like you're turning it so in comparison let's say to like the Seiko Alpinists I've had some models which are just too loose there is zero resistance and they just spin around so this feels much better in comparison now this watch in terms of movement it uses a manual hand winding movement which Merca identifies as the M10D but diehard watch geeks across the forums know what this actually is. And I believe I did a video on this a couple of years ago. In a nutshell, it's a Chinese standard movement, which was brought in by China by regulations to standardize watch movements across the board within their country. And these were like 17 joule movements, hand winding, and were meant to operate within 0 to 30 seconds a day. Now, Merca claim that this is their own or, you know, they're a bit unclear or not forthcoming with what movement exactly is because i think they might do some modification but I, I really think it's just regulating it to be honest i don't really see what they've done to it in terms of performance uh i put this on the time grapher at a lift angle of 52 which a lot of people seem to do and you can see it's running at plus 26 seconds a day with a really healthy amplitude actually at 280 degrees now a lot of these old movements run much lower and the beat error is 0.6 so i don't think this was regulated by merca uh, but it, it is running well within factory specifications now the watch also uses a mineral crystal as do most of merca watches now i don't know why they do that um now i don't know why they do that the majority of their watches don't use sapphire which is very strange uh, but mineral glass is still quite robust all those entry level seikos which are still knocking around today uh, are still in good condition but the crystal is a very high top box style crystal with a domed underside and you get some pretty decent clarity but because it sits so high it does increase the risk of knocking it against something while you're wearing it on wrist now with regards to dial work uh, it's quite intricate firstly all the hour scales are legible crisply printed and in the center of the dial you get like a stamped world map which is very clear it's very visible and it's precise and you've got a printed out minute track complete with the printed logo and text and this is one thing about this watch the whole dial looks very detailed and precise and the 24 hour scale is accented to distinguish between the day and night hours this is what's different on the other colorways available the handset is like a dagger style or dauphine style but they're not flat they're slightly curved on the top and they're fully polished and finished with a top cap where the second hand should be they look quite nice against that busy background and actually do a good job of standing out and the second hand delete gives you a very clean look now this watch actually doesn't feature any loom which is disappointing because how cool would it have been if that loomed the world map behind those hands but unfortunately they haven't now the case consists of a low profile bezel with a smooth radial brushing 
It would have been nice if they had added a polished bevel to the bezel, but they've decided to go with this field watch aesthetic, which does suit the watch. And because the brushing is actually quite fine, it looks and feels good. The lugs also have a radial brushed finish towards the tips. And you've got horizontal brushing along the sides of the case. Now the side profile looks very thin and long, but it's just perspective. It's actually quite compact at just 46.5 millimeters. But you can really see how high that crystal sits. And with it, the watch is around 13.5 millimeters. And had they gone for a lower crystal, it would have been much thinner. And I think most are willing to sacrifice that vintage aesthetic appeal to get a thinner watch. The case back is screwed down and it features the awesome looking Mercury Lion, which could actually be a logo on the dials and I'd be interested in seeing how that would look. Now the leather strap they have supplied with the watch is a lovely gray with a crisscross pattern. I think these are called the palm pattern or Safiano, but I think it's a manufactured grain on a normal leather strap. It does look good though and it seems decent quality. Now on wrist, the dimensions are very proportionate uh, and it fits central to the wrist with the slightly curved lugs holding on really well. It looks good on wrist and the world timer dial definitely makes it a lot more interesting. It doesn't look overly busy because all your focus goes to the center of the watch and at a glance, you can clearly see the position of the hands. Overall, Merca have made plenty of really well made 38 millimeter cases and this is no exception. And I think it would have been better with a thinner crystal just for the height, but overall, I actually don't mind it. And another thing I would have liked them to do is maybe try a different movement. These M10D movements Merck has been using for the longest time and they're a bit dated. So it would be nice to have a fresher movement. They do have a whole bunch of movements to choose from and something which was just a bit more accurate maybe, but I do like the fact that it is still mechanical. And as I said at the start of the video, it is the cheapest world timer watch I've seen. So that's it from me today, guys. Let me know your thoughts below and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.